So the CIA put out a propagandistic recruitment video that hit every woke word in the book, you guys. And I want to preface this video by saying I am very social. Um, I'm very progressive on social issues. I am in favor of social justice. I think everybody should be allowed to be who they are in our society without facing discrimination or cruelty. OK, that's like a no brainer. It's so obvious to me um, and it should be obvious to absolutely everybody. What concerns me, and I've talked about this in the past, is that if we talk about identity and social issues in particular ways, that, that language and that messaging can be very easily co-opted by institutions who may have spent their entire existence discriminating against the marginalized community that we are trying to uplift. OK, a company that has discriminated against the black community throughout its entire existence can put BLM in the window. Right. Nike can go ahead and say, you know, we're in favor of Black Lives Matter. We, we side with Kaepernick. Meanwhile, they're paying people in Southeast Asia cents to make shoes. Right. Like they're, they're using sweatshop labor to create their products while they pretend that they are all in favor of social justice. Right. This kind of co-opting of progressive messaging is a dangerous tool. OK. Um, another example, companies or industries who have discriminated against the LGBTQ community can put a pride flag up during Pride Month and try to pretend like they're friendly with the LGBT community, right? Like these messages can be co-opted by institutions who do not deserve to benefit from simply performatively co-opting a message. Um, and we've seen the left be torn apart. And, and what's really, you know, what's really disturbing about this to me is like, it's like using our best qualities against us. Let me use the Alex Morse example. Alex Morse ran against Richie Neal in Massachusetts. Richie Neal, one of the most powerful and one of the worst members of Congress. Uh, he's the chair of the Ways and Means Committee. He's very conservative. Uh, he's a Democrat, but he's a very conservative Democrat, right? Alex Morse ran a primary against him. Morse, a, a progressive... Um, you know, forward thinking person who um, spent some terms as ma a mayor of a small town, I'm forgetting the name of it, in Massachusetts. Okay. Um, Morse also is gay and had used dating apps to find men. So there, there was a manufactured scandal that had no roots to it once, once it was actually investigated. Ryan Grimm of The Intercept, shout out to him, did thorough investigations into this and found that it was actually some Democratic groups in the area who had basically created this false tale to act as though Alex Morse had been abusive towards some of the men that he was messaging on this app, right? And that basically crashed Alex Morse's campaign. He lost a bunch of endorsements from lefty organizations. So it's like using our best qualities against us that we care about sexual assault or, or sexual harassment is, is weaponized against progressive candidates who have not engaged in that behavior, right? So I, I, my point here is we need to be very careful it, when we... Um, when we hear this kind of messaging coming from establishment sources who may want to suppress our progressive goals, okay? Now, obviously, any accusation should be investigated, whether it's a lefty or a righty or a centrist. That's obvious, right? But I'm, I'm trying to issue a warning here that institutions who are not friendly to progressive goals will hijack progressive social and identity messaging and then you, and weaponize that against our soci socioeconomic goals. This happens on a very regular basis, okay? So with all of this being said, I want to show you guys this video from the CIA, um, you know, an institution that we all know to be operating in good faith and with our best interest at heart, right? Um, anyhow, they use every woke word in the book. Um, this is just, this is terrifying because it it is potentially effective. Um, so anyway, we'll watch this clip and then discuss. When I was 17, I quoted Zora Neale Hurston's How It Feels to Be Colored Me in my college application essay. The line that spoke to me stated simply, I am not tragically colored. There is no sorrow damned up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Sora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. Nothing about me was or is tragic. I am perfectly made. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand 
and console a crying toddler with the other. I am a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I am intersectional, but my existence is not a box checking exercise. I am a walking declaration, a woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences, suggesting that a question has been asked. I did not sneak into CIA. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. I am educated, qualified, and competent. And sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons. And I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, but at 36, I refuse to internalize misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy rather than intoxicate people with my effort, my brilliance. I am proud of me, full stop. My parents left everything they knew and loved to expose me to opportunities they never had. Because of them, I stand here today a proud first generation Latina and officer at CIA. I am unapologetically me. I want you to be unapologetically you, whoever you are. Know your worth, command your space. Mija, you're worth it. So she hits every woke word in the book and says not one word about the CIA or why you should support or trust the CIA, or why you should apply for work at the CIA. Every woke word in the book. And then they have the gall to have her say, as they, as they treat her like a token, right, as they performatively use her identity to, to try to sell their horrendous agency, they have the gall to say, I am not a box-checking exercise, as they list off all the check boxes. That is belittling, that is insulting, that, that, that is, like, people who support social justice should be offended by this video, as I am offended by this video. What does the CIA do to brown people around the world? What does the CIA do to women? What effects does the CIA have on these particular groups? It's, um... It's unfortunate that we live in a society where that kind of horse shit will actually work. You know, it's just that's just a really unfortunate aspect of our society. Um, so do not trust the CIA as far as you can throw them. Their stated objection or their stated objective and purpose is to propagandize, manipulate populations, lie to populations, including ours, their own. That is their stated goal. Meddle in elections, be anti-democratic, execute coups, right? C cut countries off from food and medicine. That organization, a lot of those countries, by the way, full of black and brown people. A lot of those policies disproportionately affect women in negative ways. Yet they have the gall to put this fucking ad up there and, and act as though they're woke. To co-opt the progressive social language. Um, this is why basing our policy in socioeconomics is so critically important because the CIA and other institutions and corporations and industries cannot co-opt that language because it, it actually directly opposes their stated policy goals, their inherent policy goals, their natural policy goals, right? So shame on the CIA, although I'm hardly surprised in, in our current society. This is, this is, you know, you screw over the poor, you just say, well, but it was, you know, we had a black person screw over the poor, or we had a woman screw over the poor, right? It, this, it's, it's gotten to a point where it is damaging our movement in many cases. And, you know, I don't have a solution here, you guys, because these are important issues and we should talk about these issues and we should push for social justice. So I, I don't have an answer. I don't, I don't know what exactly we're supposed to do about this outside of really focusing our message in socioeconomics because these institutions cannot hijack that language. So this is just unfortunate. Do not trust the CIA. Uh, they do not care about social justice. They are trying to weaponize social justice to their own PR benefit.